Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video and we got some more leaks today for Season 2 coming really soon by the way guys. It's been announced Friday on the community update. So we are getting zombies on November 22 and Season 2 will start on November 25. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have a huge giveaway coming up for Season 2. I'm giving away 7 Season Pass. Now you have to look for that video on my channel and leave in the comments your name or email if you're in Garena and iTunes or Google Play. I'll pick 6 winners in the YouTube comments and one more winner on Twitter. So check out my Twitter for that tweet and retweet it to win. Now let's go with the leaks. And once again, a monster shout out to good CCCC on Discord. A lot of leaks have been coming from this guy. He's been very active lately on the leaks community. So let's start with the good news, guys. It looks like we may have free stuff after all. And we'll start with the daily crates. We've seen that image from a new Christmas crate on the test server and you'll have a chance to win a DLQ 33 which is probably the best sniper in the game right now with the holiday skin. Now we see that image from the test server again and the name of the holiday crate seem to be daily crate. Now I don't know if it's two different crates but definitely the daily crates are about to change for season 2. So the crates that you'll get for free on the season pass also the crates that you can buy once every day on the store but also the daily crates that you get as luck and rewards on top of credits. Now notice the color guys, it's a different color now. It's orange like legendary rarity or exotic stuff in Battle Royale. And when you see the content of the crate, you also see the first ever orange rarity item in the game. So usually it's blue and purple for epic. The rarest stuff is usually purple. Now we have an orange DLQ33 holiday skin. And it's in the crate and you see also the rest of the content. It looks a bit like the content we had in the old daily crates. Some orange triangle skins. You can also see an Arctic 50 there. An MSMC. You see the M21BR. I think it's on fire the skin, the blue item. A bunch of grenade skins. So yeah, I don't think the content is completely new. A lot of old stuff. But you have a chance to get a super, super rare DLQ33 sniper. And guys, I don't know about you, but my luck has been horrible in the previous crates. I still don't have the Terrence Brooks character skin, so it's pretty horrible. Hopefully, I'll get more luck next season, but apparently the content will change. And if you don't have Terrence Brooks, maybe it's gonna be gone forever, I don't know. Now, enough with the good news, here comes the bad news. Guys, it appears that we will have another lucky draw for Christmas. Lucky Draw is like the most expensive stuff ever in all games I've ever played in my life. There's been the Halloween Lucky Draw. You had to pay like $300, $400 for a skin and a weapon. Then there was the latest Lucky Draw last week for the new PDW reskin uh, called Razorback. But also the Battery Sting character skin. Now look at that. Lucky Draw for Christmas. It looks like we'll have to pay another $200, $300 plus dollars for the gnome skin which was probably the best looking skin in all the league character skins then the weapon is the ak-117 so the coolest or the best weapon in the game the ak-117 will be in the lucky draw with the christmas camel now guys honestly i have to pass this time i love the ak-117 but the christmas camel i think is just something you'll use for a week or two and then you'll go back to the really cool camos the Gnome, I love it, seriously. I think it's really, really cool. But I'm not gonna pay 200 bucks for a freaking character skin. Guys, it needs to stop. The community has to stop. I mean, I know I did buy the previous one. Definitely for my YouTube videos and stuff, but for real. I mean, as long as people will pay, of course they'll keep coming with some expensive stuff like that. But on the other hand, as long as they keep giving us free stuff, there's a bit of everything for everyone. And you know what? Free games are here for one reason. It's not to entertain us. It's really to make money. Their primary goal is to make money. And as long as people will buy these offers, well, they have to keep doing it because they're making money this way, right? All right, next topic, guys, is new score streaks coming in the game. It's on the test server once again. So first one is the Shock RC, as also known as the RCXD in other Call of Duty games. So it's an RC-controlled car that you can uh, have a camera in front and you see where you're going and you can detonate whenever you want if you're close to an enemy. 
The next one is 900 points. It's called XS1 Goliath. It says call on an XS1 Goliath to equip powerful armor and a sight with limitless ammo. So if you're a fan of the sight operator skill, well, you're going to have it as a score streak on top, but also you'll have an armor. So I don't know if you'll be able to take extra damage for the duration of the, the score streak. But we'll have to see. I don't have some gameplay. And guys, leave a comment below if you have seen something like that in other Call of Duty games. Because I didn't play much after Black Ops 2, so I missed a lot of stuff in the recent Call of Duty games. Now, the last leak for the day is the ICR-1 new weapon coming to the game with a bunch of skins, Rainbow, Dark Matter, and Cosmos. You guys probably saw some Dark Matter gameplay. It's another animated skin like the Cosmos. But we've seen that on the new sniper, the Locust, coming back in the game. It's a Black Ops 3 sniper. Well, this time we have the ICR AR. And I've seen some stats on this quote. Someone comparing with the M4. And it looks like another Razorback issue, which is just a reskin of the PDW. Well, I think the ICR is just an M4 skin. It's a cool skin, but it's an M4 weapon. Same damage, same fire rate, same recoil, same uh, reload speed. Everything's going to be exactly like that. But guys, it's just like on the test server. Previously, they said the Garena version test server is not guaranteed to look exactly like the final build. So what you see here may be different when it comes out on global version. But that's what we have so far. And it's been pretty accurate as far as I know. So guys, that's all I have for today. We'll have to wait five more days for zombies to come out. And then two more days after for the start of season two. Cannot wait to see the battle pass. Cannot wait to see the challenges for battle royale and everything. And cannot wait to see if we have zombies challenges for the season pass. Now once again, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and enter the giveaway. It's gonna end on November 23. I'll draw 7 winners on the live stream. I'll be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care. Destroyed your sentry gun. 